boys. We'll see what happened to the others. Chip, Billy! You hurt? No, I'm all right. Ah, speak for yourself, will you? I'm killed. What happened to the torches? I don't know, but we'll find out. Well, come on, let's go. Boy, they certainly fixed that. I'll say they did. How'd you boys make out? Great. I won't know tomorrow. Even if they were alive when the car hit the water, they'd be drowned before we could get to them. Nothing we can do. You stay here, Duke. I'll send some of the boys to help you recover the bodies. Come on, fellas. i got to get the hideout. No other prisoners? No, they were prepared for a quick getaway and they made one. Did you see Colonel Barton, my father? The torch gang took all the prisoners with them. All right, Watson, you and Harris take these men back to town. Dean and Scott, follow the river road south until you meet Duke. Take the bodies out of the wrecked sedan, fingerprint them, and take them to the morgue. Harry. Boys, I want to thank you all for your part in breaking up one of the swing holes with a flaming torch. We ain't through with those torches yet. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, get it. Yeah, 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 let's come on, let's go. Well, Harry, his junior G-man, Billy, and his boys seem to be measuring up. They sure do. When I left him yesterday, he said he was working out a plan to run down all the torch gang. Did he tell you what the plan was? No, he just said to come by his place today and he'd have it all mapped out. Okay. Okay, sir. Come on, Mitch. Now, look, you see this street here? It's up to us to get there. What about here? No, we're not going to... There's more mats in the gas station. Right. Well, yeah, more. Okay, okay you, take them out. Let's you. Get, get up here with oh, the problem. Where will we patrol them? Right over here. See about... Uh, 150. See what it is, will you? 158 feet over here. Got hey, it. Harry and Mitch. Yeah. Oh, Hi, Harry. Oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. Oh, Harry. Oh, oh, yep, we got all our oh, plants mapped out. Oh, that's great. Now, here's exactly what we do. We know most of the torches by sight. We split up in our teams, cover the town. We keep in touch with Mitch by telephone at your office. That's well. Now, if we spot a torchy... We phone Midge, give him the exact location. He calls the FBI, and they come to the right spot. That's great. All right. Good. Chip and Terry, you cover this district here. Right. Taylor and Buck, yeah. you get this street over there. Now, Lug, right over there. That's your spot. And you and I will double-check all the districts in my car. So well, let's go. Come, come on. on. Take your match with you. This one of them now. Let's get him. No, we'll get it for Midge first. Ah, forget about Midge. There's only one of them. We can handle him. Come on. Now that crook got away. Ah, that guy didn't fight there. Uh, Look, he pulled right out of his shoe. Maybe you can use it. That's nah, too big. Hey, well, we got to keep looking anyway. Come on. Oh. Your minds. We catch him one of the torches and beat him to a pulp. Good. Where'd you leave him, Midge? Now, he got away before we could phone. How could he get away if you beat him up? Well, it was like this. I had a death grip on that crook's foot. When he pulled it right out of his shoe. Miss Morella, what did you do with the shoe? I threw it away. Well, whereabouts? We've got to find it. I know where it is. Come on, jump in. Yeah, hurry up. What are you going to do with that old shoe? We're taking it back to the laboratory. There's no telling what you may find on it. You ain't kidding That's what it is, Chip. Only we collect the dust and the clean filter paper. It's too bad there's no mark on the shoe to indicate it's purchased. It may bring out something. 
Well, I guess that's all we need now. Go ahead, Davy. And make the cast. So we can go. See those five little grains? Looks like rice to me. That's what I thought. Hey, Murph. Go down to the store and get five cents each of every kind of rice they have and be sure to mark the bags. No sooner said than done. Can I chat and go on? Rice seems to be the only thing we can work on, Billy. Yeah, but there's a lot of places he could have picked up that rice. Oh, no. To get that rice wedged in his shoe, he must have walked through a pile of it. Well, maybe you got something there. That's groceries, fellas. That's good. Now we'll see what kind of rice. No, I hope. What kind is that? Let me round. Well, those are round, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, I think this is it. Yeah, that looks like the kind, all right. Kind of pretty, huh? The grocery man said this kind comes from China. China? Hmm, then one of the torches must have walked through a pile of Chinese rice. Maybe it was a warehouse where they store Chinese imports. That makes sense. Well, let's find that warehouse. Terry, give me the classified phone book. Quick. All right. Warehouse. Oh, run away as many as a warehouse. Why don't you shut up? Here they are. They're just five. They specialize in Chinese imports. Oh, good. Let's find the one we want. Okay, let's Come on. Go. Bob, let me stay here with Dave. Okay, here's the call. We're looking for. That guy's one of the torchies. Sure he is. We better phone the FBI. No. Let's look inside and make sure this is their hideout. Torch, you pick up the rice in his shoe. Yeah, that scientific stuff of yours is pretty good. Gives us a good lead. Or something around here. Yeah, I'm afraid with a button or a lever or something. Well, let's go find it. Now, wait. We're sure now this is their headquarters. We all know about the FBI. You're right. Look, Chip. You get to the nearest telephone. Call Harry's uncle. Tell him to bring the whole FBI down here. Got me? Ah, oh, right, Solo. Go on. Babe. Dirty hit 
taxi ran driver. Well, I'll get a doctor for you. What happened? Oh, car bumped him. You help me get him inside. Come on. Martin, you should realize by now that in less than a year's time, the Flaming Torch will be the most powerful organization in the country. No, that's absurd. The whole basis of your scheme is wrong. You're mistaken. And if you'll cooperate with it's us... It's no use, Evan. My allegiance to my country can't be bought. Look, my dad. I'm going to go in there and... No! You'll spoil everything. This may be your last chance, Barton. I've heard death threats before. What you people want is my formula. And you can only get it from me while I'm alive. They should have been here long ago. Well, it didn't work. He knows the strength of his position. Nothing must stop us from getting possession of Barton's formula of that explosive. We've proved it to be the most violent, the most deadly weapon yet invented. With it, our success is absolutely certain. Hey, you. <laughs> Plenty of time for a family reunion, Barton, under more comfortable circumstances. Provided, of course, you're ready now to give us your formula. My loyalty to my country remains unchanged. Even if this alleged loyalty endangers the life of your son? They're just trying to throw a scare on you, Dad. These guys are all yellow. I'm not so sure, son. Murder is right in their line. Well, that's where you're mistaken, Barton. We never kill unless it's absolutely necessary. But this case calls for special treatment. We have an old and very unhealthy dungeon in this building. We shall confine your son there without food or water until you are ready to give us your formula. All right, Fran, you win. I'll give you my formula. Now, you're the intelligent button, and you won't regret it. Don't do it, Dad. Don't sell out to these guys to save my life. You're right, sir. We won't sell out. Barton, you just sealed your son's fate. Take him out of here. What do we do with him? Put him in the dungeon with the other one. Come on. Go on. Go on. I can't 
understand why the G-Man hasn't come. Something must have happened to Jeff. Oh, but yes, he's been sleeping ever since the doctor gave him that medicine. Oh, that's good. You heard the doctor say that if we'd let him rest, he'd be all right. Yeah, but he ain't resting now. He started twisting around and sleep muttering telephone, telephone. I think we ought to get him out of here. Ah, leave him sleep. Doc knows his business. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The new shipment of rifles has just arrived. I have the men move them down to the arsenal. Yes, sir. I think we can make it after we get this one out. There it comes. Here we go. better off in the place we came out of. Looks like we're at the bottom of an elevator shaft. Hope that crate ain't working. Sure heavy load. I'll say so. I wonder if this old elevator will stand the strain. It's no telling. Those old cables might break. We'd better walk down. The crate will stop automatically when it hits the bottom floor. Okay. Yeah. 